afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Caradonna's Master Series. Today, we will be traveling to the country of Belize and to the beautiful Turniff um, Atoll. We have for our host today, Deborah Finkler, and she will be presenting Turniff Island Resort. We will start the presentation with a video, and then Deborah will come on and present. And then um, Cami Akins, our VP, will be answering questions on Facebook Live, but she will come on at the end and go over the topical questions that come on. So without further ado, let's go to Turniff Island Resort. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I am Debbie. I am the sales and marketing manager for Turn of Island Resort. Thank you for joining us and Elisa, thank you for the introduction. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
So here we should start. So we are at Jordan Valley Resort. We are a private island resort. This is an aerial shot. As you can see, uh, we are a 14 acre island. Uh, the location, we are located in Belize, Central America, uh, located inside the Turn of Atoll on the southern tip of the Turn of Atoll. Um, so for people that don't know what an atoll is, it is a lot of islands that are surrounded, like you can see on this map, that surround uh, a lagoon or it, a lot of islands that are, are together and it forms an atoll. Um, we can go to the next slide. Um, here is a map of our island. I uh, will talk about each and every single room type and the buildings that we have. But you can see here is that we have the duplex uh, building that you can, we have located the deluxe rooms here and then we have a lot of deluxe rooms here and superior rooms on the fourplex building, the spa, the dining room, pool and bar, private villas, our honeymoon villa and the presidential villa. Over here, uh, we have the tackle shop and the dive shop. I will talk about this on our next slides. Our island is a 14 acre island located 30 miles off the coast of Belize. We are an hour and a half away from Belize City, so you have to travel to Belize City and we will pick you up at the airport. We will drive you to the port where our boat is waiting for you and then we will transfer you to the island. Uh, we are sitting on a marine reserve, so we have an extensive marine life. We're in the western part of the Caribbean, and we have a lot of beautiful corals. Um, it's pretty much haven for divers, uh, travelers that are just on their leisure time, fishermen. Um, it's really, really supreme hospitality. We are a PADI certified dive resort. Uh, we have more than 70 dive sites surrounded by lagoons and reefs. We also have the Turner Flats for the fishermen. Um, and we are one of the closest resorts uh, from, to the Blue Hole. Um, we do have a Blue Hole. Uh, sorry, we do have a trip to the Blue Hole on Tuesday. Let's talk about the room types. We have several room types. Uh, total of the rooms, we have 22 rooms. We have eight deluxe rooms. These rooms are our basic rooms. I will have, I will describe each and every one of them. Um, so we have eight deluxe rooms. We have the next category, the superior rooms that we have four. Uh, we have seven private villas with different bed accommodations, depending on the request. Uh, one premium villa, a honeymoon villa, and a presidential villa. If I would have sold out the entire resort, we would have around 46 guests. The deluxe room. The deluxe rooms are our basic rooms. We have eight located on the duplex building or the fourplex building. For the duplex building, we only have four deluxe rooms. On the fourplex building, we have four deluxe rooms on the ground floor, and then we have four superior rooms on, on top of the deluxe room. Uh, these deluxe rooms have beautiful screen-in porches. They have indoor and outdoor showers, obviously private. They have ceiling fans and they have pretty much a king-size bed or if requested, we can put two twin beds. The capacity of these rooms would be two guests. We go to the superior rooms. This is the next level. The superior rooms are located on the fourplex building. They are on top of the deluxe rooms. You have a private entrance, uh, vaulted ceiling, ceiling fans, AC, and the capacity for this room can be two guests. It can be in a king size bed or, or two twins. Then we move, move to the next room type. We have private villas. We have seven luxurious villas. If you're looking for privacy, I would definitely go for a private villa. Um, the private villas, we have one that has a king size bed and two twins for let's say if we have a family of four then we have another one that has a queen and a fool that you could potentially sleep three guests and then the rest of the villas have king size beds 
all of our rooms have beautiful screen and porches and all of the rooms are facing ocean view. Here we can see some images about our private villas, deluxe and superior rooms. As you can see on the bottom right image, this is the four flex building. You have deluxe rooms at the bottom and superior rooms on top. On this image, you have two twin beds. This image is for the private villa that has a king size bed and two twins for the family of four. And then we have this image that is the king size bed. And then this is how the private villas, you can see them from the beach. Our next category is a premium villa. This premium villa is a little bit bigger than the private villa. It has upgraded furniture. It has a huge screen and porch. Um, and this villa comes with a private dinner for two. You can only, uh, the capacity for the guests would be only two. Then we have our honeymoon villa. This is our latest addition to our room inventory. Um, it is a beautiful villa, upgraded furniture, a huge lounge area. It has an indoor and outdoor shower as well. Um, and it has a private plunge pool. And then we have the presidential villa. The presidential villa lo is located at the farthest of the islands. Um, it has two king size bedrooms connected by a living room. There is a screening porch wrapping around the presidential villa. You have a private plunge pool. And this presidential villa comes with a one way helicopter transfer for up to five passengers. Let's see some images. Um, you can see here the private plunge pool. It's the same private plunge pool for the presidential villa than for the honeymoon villa. This is the, the presidential villa. This is the upgrade lounge area for the honeymoon villa. And then this would be the king size bed for the presidential villa. And it's pretty similar to the honeymoon villa as well. Now let's talk about packages and nightly packages. Uh, how do we sell this, this resort? We have three, four, seven, 10 or 11 night stays. And based on those three, four, seven, 10 and 11 night stays, we have activity packages like relaxation package, snorkeling, diving, fishing, and combination. What does each package include? So airport pickup and drop off, let me tell you a little bit about this. So as soon as you land in Belize City, we, one of my staff members will be waiting for you outside baggage claim with a shirt for with the logo and the sign for Turn Island Resort. So from the moment that you step in Belize, we will be waiting for you and we will take care of you. Um, the driver, the staff member will take you to the port. Our port where our boat is, is the Radisson Fort George Marina. Um, he will take you there so that you can board our boat transfer and the, the boat will transfer you to the island. So boat transfers to and from the island, the least to turn island resort are included. We are an all inclusive resort. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and basic beverages like water, tea, coffee, or lemonade are included. Tea and coffee are delivered to your room every morning so that you can see the sunrise. Complimentary use of kayaks, hobby cats, and paddle boards. We do have a gym, a fitness center. Uh, because of COVID, we had to close it, but maybe fingers crossed we can reopen it again afterwards. Uh, we do have Wi-Fi. It is complimentary. It, I have to say it's a really bad signal since we are located pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but we do have the, the Wi-Fi. You can receive text. You can send out text. Maybe you will not be able to FaceTime someone. And then depending on the package that you select on the activities, your activities are included. Let's say, for example, someone wants to come a seven night stay on the diving and we can talk about the diving that means that diving is included in your activities and for a seven night you will receive 15 dive tanks what the package does not include so alcohol beverages we do have a drinking package that you can purchase throughout your stay 
add-on activities. Let's say, for example, we have two divers throughout a seven night and one of the days that they have free time, they want to go out fishing. You can absolutely do that. You can add on the activities or you want to go out snorkeling. You can absolutely do that. Um, if it's a diver going out fishing, it depends on availability on the fishing activity. Um, but if you're a diver and you want to go out snorkeling, it is included on your, on your diving package. So you just join the snorkel team, the team, sorry, at whatever hour they have the snorkel trip. Spa treatments are not included on the package. Rental equipment, you can rent diving equipment or you can rent uh, fishing equipment on the tackle shop. Taxes, staff gratuities, airfare, and gift shop purchases are not included. Transportation, we do offer the boat transfers. Our boats are, are a 48 foot boat, the transfers from Belize to the island and back. Uh, we offer transfer Saturdays and Wednesdays due to COVID right now, we are just offering transfers on Saturdays, but when everything comes back to normal, we, we are going to start the Wednesday uh, transfers again. Uh, we recommend our guests to arrive to Belize before 2 p.m. so that they can have perfect timing with all of the logistics at the airport, uh, custom, everything that happens at the airport, and then you can hop on our, on our airport transfer and then have perfect timing to get to our boat transfer. Normally the boat transfer leaves around three, um, so we do recommend to arrive before 2 p.m. For departure flights, we always recommend our guests to book their flight after 11 a.m. Why? Because it's the same situation. You have to have time to be able to get from the island to the airport and then check in and everything at the airport. Um, it is an hour and a half away by boat. We do have, we do offer private transfers if someone requests it. A uh, private boat, boat transfer has an additional cost and we have a faster boat. Um, so you will be making an hour instead of an hour and 30 minutes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then we can potentially um, book you a private helicopter transfer. We do have a, a heli uh, pad. Uh, it is with a company, a Belizean company that we have worked throughout the years. It's Astrum Helicopters. And these are pretty much our boat transfers that we do the crossing. Our dining experience, um, mostly everybody knows us for having our dining experience being a family style dining. Um, Pre-COVID, everybody loves our family style dining. You have uh, certain hours that you eat breakfast. So at breakfast is at 7 a.m., lunch is at 12.30 p.m., and then you have dinner at 7 p.m. and happy hour at 6.30 p.m. Uh, right now, pre-post-COVID, uh, we have everything plated. We still have our family style dining, but we did add different individual tables for people that want to, if you, you want to dine inside, if you want to dine outside, uh, you can absolutely do that. Everything comes out of the kitchen plated. Um, and we do have, we still have our barbecue dinner every, every Friday and we still deliver the coffee and tea every morning. On the image right here on the left, this is a porch of the dining room where you can sit there and have a meal if you would like. Then on um, all the way to the right, you have a picture of our dining room inside when we could all sit together. And then on the picture here on the right, on the upper right, this is our another view of our dining porch that you can sit upstairs or downstairs. And then we do offer private dinners um, if you request it. Now let's talk about our activity packages, the snorkel package. Um, if you book a snorkeling package, you get two snorkel trips a day. Our snorkeling, the water depth is between five to 15 feet. Um, you normally, you, you can snorkel around the island. It's a beautiful snorkel trip around the island. Uh, and you will, with the snorkel package, you will have the boat that will take you between five to 10, 15 minutes 
to the snorkel sites and you will be amazed about the marine life that you're going to get. If you book the snorkeling packages for a four or seven night, you will get the blue hole day trip on Tuesday. So you go and you snorkel the blue hole, you snorkel half moon key, and then you snorkel long key. Uh, the snorkel trips, the scheduled snorkel trips are at 9 a.m. and at 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m., sorry about that. And then you will have the snorkeling equipment included in the package. Talk about diving. Uh, diving at Turnip Island Resort is a one of a kind experience. Uh, it's our forte. We have more than 70 dive sites. Uh, our diving is it's pretty much within minutes from the resort, apart from the blue hole. Uh, most of our dives are wall drift dives. So approximately we go down 60 feet. Um, we have a professional team. A dive team. Uh, we are known for our valet service. What does valet service mean? So from the moment that you get there, you put on your gear, you try the first dive, and we know where you fix up your gear so that the rest of your stay, you don't have to worry about your gear. You don't have to worry about your equipment. We will clean your equipment. We will disinfect your equipment. We will do everything so that whenever you go, and sleep and the next day you come back, your dive gear is gonna be perfectly clean, disinfected, everything in your dive boat so that you can just put on your dive, go five to 15 minutes away from the island and then do your back roll and get into the water. As of marine life, we have so much beautiful um, animals and creatures down there. Uh, you can see a variety of sharks, Korean sharks, you can see gray and black tips, you can see nerf sharks, barracudas, groupers, horsey jacks, trigger fish, uh, the peacock flounder, like we have, we have so much, like we have dolphins, we have the white spotted toadfish that is pretty much endemic to Belize. Um, so I put a couple of, of, of creatures here, fishes, turtles. Uh, eels, stingrays, a lot of them. Uh, this is an example of the packages, the nightly packages from when to when, the number of tents, and some of the notes I added here. So let's say, for example, on a seven night, you can do it on Saturday to Saturday or Wednesday to Wednesday. 15 dive tanks are included and the blue hole day is included. On the three night stay, the blue hole day is not included since it's a Wednesday to Saturday. And on a four night stay, Saturday to Wednesday, you have seven tanks and the blue hole is included. Let's go to the next slide. There we go. Our checkout dive, the first dive for our divers, we call it the checkout dive. Why every single diver has to do this checkout dive? Why? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. The first one, our dive masters want to know how you dive. Um, how you put on your equipment, how pretty much how you dive, how you react underwater. And the second one, you we have to know how you dive to be able to dive the blue hole, just because it's a really it's a deeper dive. So the checkout dive is a shallow dive around 50 feet, and it's it's not a wall drift dive. It's more of the shallower part, a more calm dive. Um, blue hole day, blue hole day is every Tuesday. The first thing that you go, we go out, we are approximately an hour and a half away from us to the Blue Hole. Uh, even though we are one of the closest resorts to the Blue Hole, we, because of the currents, we have to take another route. But on the way back, it's a lot shorter. Uh, the first thing, the first site that you go and dive would be the Blue Hole. The Blue Hole, we go down about 130 feet. Uh, you are around five to seven minutes down there and then you come back. Uh, it's pretty much our dives normally are an hour and this dive is more like 30 minutes. Um, after the blue hole dive, we go to Half Moon Key. You dive Half Moon Key. And then we lunch at Half Moon Island. It is a beautiful island. And then the last dive would be Long Key. And then you go back to the resort. Uh, here is a schedule of the dives that we have. This is a dive schedule. 
um, you can take a look at it, but pretty much it, it is, you have two morning dives, between two or three dives a day. On Friday, the three has a little star because it depends if you are on a Saturday to Saturday schedule. On Friday, you get two dives, the first two in the morning. If you are on a Wednesday to Wednesday schedule, uh, the, on Friday, you get three dives, the 3 p.m. dive. Here on the right-hand corner, you have a photo of our dive shop. Then I added here a couple of underwater photos so that you can see uh, we have sharks, eels, turtles, fishes, all kinds of species, stingrays, everything. Now we do offer, since we're a PADI certified resort, we do offer a couple of courses. Uh, we have the Discover Scuba, that's pretty much an introduction to diving. Um, you do go out, uh, I think it's one dive uh, on the Discover Scuba. It's just more for people to get a taste of it to see if they like it or not. Um, you get an introduction to the equipment, then you go out diving uh, with your dive instructor, and then you come back. Uh, we do offer open water referral course. This means that you would have to do the paperwork and the pull part of your certification before coming to the island. So the the part that you would do with us would be the open water dives and then you get certified with us with our dive instructor um, we do offer the advanced open water and the patty nitrox course as well we have a dive shop and you can you can bring your own personal equipment or you can rent it on our dive shop um, we are an eco-friendly sustainable resort since we're sitting on a marine reserve we have all sorts of of strategies and things that we do to be able to to be sustainable to be able to help the marine life to be able to be biodiverse and to be responsible for for the life that we have around us and responsible for our guests as well um, we have a reverse osmosis uh, system for the water as well and we love taking care of all of the creatures that we have around us like their environment Uh, let's talk about fishing. After almost 50 years, our resort is still recognized as one of the tip saltwater flat fishing resorts in Belize and the Western Caribbean. We are a catch and release resort. So that means that 95% of the catch, you have to release it. Uh, it's a, an exclusive fishing experience. If you book the fishing package, you book your, your, you reserve your skiff with your fishing guide, your private fishing guide throughout your stay. So you can go out and fish at whatever time you want, um, early morning or late afternoon, evening. Uh, there is an additional cost, but you can do it. Uh, we have the turn of flats and creeks that are really popular on the fishing industry. Uh, I can tell you a typical day in fishing, you can go out and you search for permit over bone fish, uh, you can take a lunch, a uh, lunch box. We will prepare a lunch if you don't want to come back to eat lunch. But if you do, you come back to the island, you eat lunch. And then if you go out, if you want to go out for two hours, you can go out for two hours, fish, and then come back. Um, it depends on you. You can customize your, your itinerary and your experience. Uh, as of uh, rental equipment, we do offer, we have a tackle shop, so we offer all of the equipment, uh, some suggestions so that you, you can bring to the island. Uh, we offer flat boots, we have light weights, we have rods. Uh, we would definitely uh, recommend to bring out sunglasses and long sleeve shirts, so if you're like out there in the sun, it would cover you a hat, uh, weed guards on the flies among others. The weather, uh, the weather in Belize is warm and subtropical weather, so it's Caribbean weather. Uh, the average is between 78 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Summer, it gets a little bit hotter, uh, 90 to 98. Uh, we can say that on our island, uh, the average is 85 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Our guests can just having an amazing experience. Um, it's not that I work here, but I, I do believe it's a 
really, really unique place. And I absolutely recommend it to everybody. Um, on the fishing part, we are known for the Grand Slam. Uh, in the fishing industry, this is huge. Uh, the Grand Slam means that you have to catch three different fish species in 24 hours. Uh, this fish species are a permit, a bonefish, and a tarpon. All of these three are catch and release, so you just catch them and you release them. Now we have pre-COVID, we had a lot of airlines uh, flying directly to Belize. Now our main airlines that are flying directly are United, Delta, and American Airlines. Uh, Tropic Air is the Belize airline. It's still flying throughout San Pedro and back into Belize City. Southwest is coming soon. Uh, we don't know when they're going to reopen their flight. Pre-COVID, they did have a couple of flights. Uh, they had to close them, but hopefully, fingers crossed, they reopen them again. And here in this image, you know, you would be coming throughout this direction and you would get to the resort and you would just walk around the, the dock and get to the, to the island. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the, your time. And I just wanted to, to say everybody that is watching this, if you book with Caridana uh, throughout this week and part of next week, you can get 25% off if you stay with us in the seven night. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Um, really looks beautiful. The property looks so well maintained. The dive boats, it's really so pristine looking. I know we send a lot of divers there, a lot of groups over the years. And Cami Aikens, our VP, who uh, works with a lot of that business, can tell you about that. So, Cami, if you want to come on and join um, the presentation, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Boy, that video is amazing. Those new, that presidential villa, and the honeymoon villa, they're just beautiful. Thank you. Um, you covered actually so much information in there. A lot of the questions that we had, you really covered, but I thought I would just touch on them a little bit, just try to expand a little bit more. Um, of course. So you do go to Blue Hole and that is on a Tuesday, correct? That is correct. Yes. So we, we try to be the first ones there. Uh, since there are a lot of resorts that do Blue Hole on Tuesday as well. So because being one of the closest resorts to Blue Hole, we try leaving uh, a little bit early from the resort to be able to get there and be the first ones there so that our divers and snorkelers get the full experience. The Blue Hole you mentioned, um, you go normally a depth of 130, five to seven minutes. I know that dive's a little bit shorter because it is so deep. Do people need to be advanced certified? for that first dive? They, uh, no, they need to be open water to be able to go down on 1.30. Uh, there are cases that we have had whenever we have a lot of divers and some of the divers don't want to go down to 1.30, right? So we, if there is a case, depending on the number of divers, we can have two dive masters, one go down to 1.30 and the second one can stay between 60 to 80. If, they, if the divers don't feel comfortable in going uh that with that depth yeah okay um do you have um is there an age limit at the resort are ch are you child friendly uh we are yes actually we have a variety like our audiences it, it's just really impressive like we have solo travelers we have a lot of families coming in mostly on like spring break months and november thanksgiving and when december that is christmas but all year round we have a lot of kids we have solo travelers, we have couples, we have couples that knew that whenever they came the first time with us, they started to know other couples and they became friends. And the next time that they joined us, they, they traveled together. So it's, nice. it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Cool. Um, and um, I saw the video of the restaurant and it does look like there's inside and outside dining. The inside dining looked like it was air conditioned. Um, but just wondered if you could touch on that a little bit and just if you could explain how, how the meals are working right now and how they used to work. So hopefully how, what, what it will change too. Of course. Um, I can start with pre-COVID. Uh, Pre-COVID, it was completely family style. So you would have huge tables where 
people will sit together and why why we have this as an experience because there are people that love as couples or as families that love to sit with other we can call it quote unquote strangers at the mm -hmm. time and they share their experience their diving experience and when let's say for example whenever i was there you can hear them talk about yeah i saw this and i saw this shark and i saw a bull shark and i and they just have a blast this was pre-covid right sure <laughs> and then we had um breakfast uh we have a buffet and they would just sit there and they would enjoy themselves gotcha. um post covid we did purchase a lot of individual tables um so now inside yes the dining room has ac and ceiling fan so both so inside you have individual tables outside you have individual tables and everything that comes out of the kitchen comes plated so there is no buffet uh whatsoever if for some reason, and I can share this, if for some reason uh, someone wants to have one or two, for example, breakfast in their porch uh, because they feel more private, we can absolutely accommodate that. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, now we just need to get this terrible virus behind us so we can all go back <laughs> to the family style fishtails. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Speaking Absolutely. of that, that of course led into kind of COVID entry and exit requirements. Getting into Belize, um, I well, I think it's a, a rapid test upon entry, or you can come with a PCR test 72 hours prior. Is that still accurate? Uh, it is. It's just they they opened a little bit more the window for the PCR. Uh, you can have your PCR 40 sorry four days prior okay. to your arrival. Okay. And then the rapid antigen test, you can, you have to get it 48 hours prior to arrival. So it would be two days before. So four yeah. and two. Can you still get it upon arrival or it has you to be? Can. No. Yes, you can. Yes, you absolutely can. They are testing at the airport. Um, whenever you get to Belize, uh, if you do get the test before, uh, they ask you to download an app that they created just for like tracking whatever steps you you make because of COVID. Um, but if you and then you can upload your test results and everything on the app. But if you don't have the test results, you get to the airport, you get to a section where they are testing, they do a rapid test and then they transfer you to another section to wait for your test results. Um, so I think it's a wait between 30 to an hour. Okay. And I yeah. think it's a charge of 50 bucks. Um, that's what it was running. Um, yes, so that is correct. As of January 26th, you now have to have a test to get back into the United States. Um, so, yes, um, I believe that they are now offering that test at the Belize airport. Can you get it on Turnip or do you, are you, are you recommending that people get the test at, in Belize at the airport upon departure? So what we are currently doing, and it has worked for our guests and for us, is that on departure date, depending on the amount of guests that we have, uh, before departure date, sorry, uh, we reserve for every single guest, we reserve at the Radisson. They have a room where we have a private practice that we reserve uh, a physician to come and test our guests. So we reserve the number of guests that we have so that the Radisson and this physician know how many tests they're going to perform. And then on departure date, depending on the departure times of the flights, we take them, all of the guests, to the Radisson. The Radisson knows, the physician knows, the physician is going to be there waiting for all of our guests. They are testing every single one of them, and then they're getting the results between 30 to 45 minutes there. And then after, after the, everybody gets the results, we take them to the airport. So um, is there, a, what is the charge for the test when they leave? Um, I believe it is around $90. Um, okay. I will have to double check, but yes, there, there is a charge. Um, and why are we doing this instead of just like dropping everybody off at the airport is because we want to eliminate uh, our guests to be like around a lot of people. Um, so we just got a private practice, a physician for just us, and we are testing there at the Radisson. 
I think that's wonderful. And then yeah. uh, one, one of the slides mentioned that you should have a departure after 11 a.m. Is that a little later now with this COVID testing that they need or you're just leaving the resort a little bit earlier upon departure? Right, so uh, I believe the direct flights that we have right now, the earliest that they leave is around noon, like 12.30, okay. 12.45. So as of right now, it has it, it has worked because Not there's no flights at least before. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, um, it depends on on the flights of each guest. We will leave a little bit earlier, or we would leave exactly at the hour to be able to make it there. Okay. And then yeah. um, the only other thing I know you mentioned when you were talking about the courses that you offer, Nitrox was one of those. Do you offer Nitrox? Um, we do. Yes, yes, we do. Uh, we offer nitrox for an additional cost, but we we have we have nitrox for right. whomever wants. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that um, like I said, you covered so much in the presentation. It answered <laughs> a lot of the questions that people had um, already sent in ahead of time. So these were just a few of the other ones I just wanted to touch on. So of course, the uh, question is, when do I go? It looks amazing. Oh, well, whenever you know, you know where to find me. So just right. give me a call, and and we will be waiting for you. All right. Well, okay, thank you, I, thank you, everybody. Can. Sorry, Cami. Great information. Um, just reminder: twenty five percent off for Caradonna. If you contact us, we can get you booked. And also, we do rerun the presentation on um, Facebook Live as well as on our YouTube channel. It stays up on our YouTube channel, Caradon Adventures, if you wanted to watch it again. So hopefully a lot of us will be traveling to Belize because it looks very clean, very safe. <laughs> and, um, we'll see you soon. <laughs> it's the perfect it's the perfect place right now uh, with COVID. We're pretty secluded. So thank you. appreciate the opportunity and, and we're here. So if you want to taste of a little bit of, a little piece of paradise, it's turn up. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. Bye-bye.